wow, look at the size of that thing. It's, I just blown away. Pictures do not do it justice. Yeah, that was effective. Hi, materialistic minions. I'm coming here today with a fantastic knife for you. It's not this little guy. You might even be able to use this to kill the deer itself. But this is the typical pocket knife that I carry with me. It's from Gerber, but you know what? We're just going to set this little cute thing there for just a moment. As we look at this TS004L series, it's a cleaver. Look at the size of this thing. When it says seven inches, it's talking about the handle is seven inches. The entire thing is uh, <laughs> over 12 inches long. <laughs> it's, it, we're just gonna put it right next to each other so that uh, you can see the, the, the comical difference between the two. Uh, now I would say it's of clown-like proportions, but that would be making fun of clowns and the knife itself. The knife itself really is more like a utility type tool. Obviously, you're not going to slip this in your hipster skinny jeans. I was kind of making fun in the review itself about this thing being so big that it wouldn't fit in your pocket, but surprisingly, it actually does, even though this thing is the size of a freight train. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> actually, we're going to run a test right here and actually see what this thing can do. Now, first of all, well, let's just try this this little knife right here. Okay. Okay. It's it's like a pin in a pin cushion. We're going to throw that over there. Now we're going to try to open up this Amazon package with that. Wow, that's fairly effortless. Okay, it does come sharp. That's actually quite surprising. But you know what? You don't care about Amazon packages. You want to see this chunk of wood. We're going to come down straight on it. And three, two, one. That's almost like a hatchet. Let's kind of see what it did to the blade right there. I really kind of smashed it on there. And it looks like there's just a little water drip on there. But for the most part, it is all intact. Fantastic. Three, two, one. And it's right over there. Oh, and that took a nice little gouge out of that. If you're uh, getting attacked by a Rainier beer, there you go. You can protect yourself. And this is kind of a solid piece of cardboard that I have folded up. Uh, we're going to go straight down in three, two, one. Holy cow, that is just, it, there's so much weight to it. And now we're going to try a stabbing uh, motion. Here we go. And holding it on tightly. Don't worry, I am being careful. Three, two, one. Ooh, as for the actual piercing ability, obviously it is more so designed like a cleaver and you saw it kind of stopped as I stabbed in there. Or I would more so use this for chopping or slashing and not necessarily a stabbing type motion. I do like the little protective uh, little nubbin right there. So if in fact you are going forward like this, you don't slip onto the blade. And uh, there is a locking mechanism, as you saw in the middle right here. Just kind of put that to the side. Do this with one hand. Try not to cut myself. And we close it like so. So uh, rather heavy. So if you're a uh, ultralight minimalist, I probably wouldn't recommend something like this. This really does have some weight to it. Uh, but it is uh, fairly easy to deploy. And as you saw, remarkably tough as well. And it comes very sharp. I saw a few reviews saying it doesn't come sharp. but. I was uh, playing with this earlier, and it, that that's razor sharp. That's insane. So that's it. Five out of five stars. Highly recommended if, in fact, you can deal with the weight and the size. But holy cow, if you need a folding cleaver to take with you, it's smooth, it's sharp, and <laughs> look, it, it even has a little clip right there if, in fact, you want to clip it onto your backpack. Or you could use the included little case that it comes with right there. But you know what? This seems tough enough to uh, be out in the weather. Nice little stone washed look. I really like the look of that thing. All right, my name is Bo Shevesy. I look forward to testing, reviewing, and stabbing more fun things here on Amazon.com. Wow.